Welcome to episode 102 of the Black in Fashion podcast. Of course, we can't start any episode without acknowledging our amazing sponsors. This episode is sponsored by 620 Style. 620 Style is an amazing um, urban loungewear brand. She is the queen of the flare pant. Make sure you guys check out her website. Everything's made right here in New York and quality custom pieces. We are also sponsored by the alumni group. They are an HBCU alumni group that hosts multiple brunches, parties, plans trips for the black elite. Check them out on their website they're planning a trip to Houdism in uh, Jamaica as well as Mexico so today is going to be a very very special episode I am here with my business partners my favorite people um <laughs> uh, my ladies of the close-minded summit yes. um so uh, right <laughs> next to me I have Miss Jaleesa Johnson and on the line calling in we have Felicia Laurie did I say it right Lowy? Lowy. Lowy, see even <laughs> all this time. Lowy. Um, hopefully we'll have Jessica Couch joining us later. But if not, guys, um, we'll make sure we put all of her information and everything in the show notes so you can learn a little bit about her. So today's episode is just to kind of give you guys a lot of information and details on this summit we have coming up. November 13th is the day. It is yes. in Atlanta, the yes. Mecca, people, the Mecca. <laughs> <laughs> So, I want you guys to get to know uh, the rest of the ladies that is a part of this beautiful day just a little bit more, a little bit about their backgrounds and what they're going to be contributing, a little bit about their businesses, and um, just to put out all the information um, from a voice opposed to you guys just reading everything, and we can give you like some really nice insight. So, um, I'm going to start with Jaleesa. Um, Jaleesa, tell us a little bit about like your background, Mm -hmm. uh, what you do, um, and how you are made it this far (laughs) in your entrepreneurship journey. (laughs) No problem. So hi everyone. I am Jaleesa Johnson Esquire. I am a business and trademark law attorney, definitely specializing within the fashion industry. Um, On a day-to-day basis, I run my own law firm, which is J&J Legal, where I help tons of fashion designers get their business together and get their legal affairs together. So whether that is for trademarks, copyrights, contract drafting and revision, legal strategizing, I'm working on some new offers because I've noticed a lot of fashion designers need some of the new offers coming up. So Mm -hmm. excited about that. But a rebranding surface service not surface. Um, and also I prepare legal strategizing in general infringement cases as well. So if someone is actually stealing your brand, I do help entrepreneurs figure that out as well. Um, and just to talk about my entrepreneurial journey, Mm -hmm. I've definitely always been interested in the fashion world. I've always been a creative person by nature. I'm kind of a graphic designer, I would say. So I did have my own fashion line for a little bit. It's on pause. It was going to come back eventually. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But yes, I've always been interested in into the fashion industry. And it just so happens that I was able to merge my love of fashion with the law by becoming a fashion law attorney, which is great for me. Um, And also, what else can I share? Well, I'll ask more questions, but now I want to hop in. Let's hop into Felicia. Felicia, tell us a little bit about your background um, and your journey, your um, entrepreneurial journey as well. Yes. Thank you so much. This is actually, I'm honored to be on here the second time. Yes. Second time. Yeah, both of y'all have been on here before. (laughs) Okay. Yep. And Close Mind is on will be the second time that I'm doing an event with LC Apparel Consulting, Angel Lisa. So I'm super excited and honored to be part of this badass east coast team yes, yes. i think covered from new york to <laughs> florida so we're so excited to take on uh, east versus west um mm-hmm. but no my my uh line it is a fashion consulting firm we are based in atlanta i've been in atlanta since 2006 um never in my million years when i was in my 20s when i went to college did i ever think i was going to be an entrepreneur it really mm. was not really my path mm. um or passion at the time i just knew i wanted to be in fashion and i actually went the route of wholesale trade shows my mom had a uh, sunglass store when i was in high school so i went to a trade show with her and i absolutely fell in love with this behind the scenes you know closed to the public 
trade shows and the um, industry of buying. And I was just so interested in being a buyer or in sales. So I ended up working in New York City with my internship after I graduated. And I ended up doing sales for about 12 years. So I spent the majority of my career representing brands. So I was making calls to different buyers, department stores. I met with everyone from Bloomingdale's in New York to, you know, departments and um, retailers out in the West Coast to Miami. So I spent a lot of time with really successful brands and emerging brands. And I found out that over time, over the decade and so that I was working, there were so many amazing brands out there, but they needed help. They literally just needed like better photography or they needed help with manufacturing or their hang tags weren't the best or they just needed like a little tweak here or there. And my passion really fell for supporting them. And I wondered, you know, where do they go? Who can they call? They have to, you know, when you run a fashion business, you need so many people between Mm -hmm. photography, Mm -hmm. marketing, website, seamstresses, everybody in the industry. And it's hard for you as an independent brand to pay for all of that. So where is a one-stop shop that they can get all these resources and all the car services? It didn't exist. So that is why I started Assembly Line. Mm -hmm. So I'm super excited to um, be a part of the Closed Minded Summit. I'm actually hosting um, and part of, you know, our journey and what we do in our services is find experts for our clients. So with that, you know, we put together some of the, my fashion friends up and down the East Coast, like I mentioned, to teach everyone about, you know, branding, marketing, and every aspect of the business. And it is truly an assembly line when you're building a brand. Like if you think about the way an assembly line works when you're making a product, mm-hmm. it's the same thing when you're building a business. So we're super excited that everybody is going to speak on that in one day. I think we're jam-packed full of education and I'm, I'm really excited. Yes, yeah, so absolutely. Don't go out the night before, guys. Um, you might want to get a really good night's <laughs> sleep because it's a lot of information <laughs> that you're going to receive and, you know, you got to have your brain prepared for all of that. Um, guys, um, I know that a lot of people who attend a lot of like the summits and master classes and courses is because they either feel like they have done something wrong throughout their journey or they just blatantly don't know where to start because they've been researching on like Google. Uh, I'm going to mm. ask both of you guys this question. Mm. What do you feel is the most common mistake that you see designers make from a business legal side when they first start out? Ooh. <laughs> Not the <laughs> whoop. Because <laughs> you know what? I mean, I feel Ooh. like they're all almost on the same level because okay. a lot of times people, when they're starting their business, mm-hmm. they're jumping around to do different things all at once. You know, you're trying to make this business come to life. And most likely, a lot of people like to rush the process, which you always say. I know you always talk about that. So they're working on so many different things um, that they're making mistakes in almost all all of those little pockets because they're trying to do too much at once. So for example, I would say like, even when it comes to, okay, they'll, they'll pick a business name, which is one of the most, I guess, common mistakes that I'll have with fashion designers, especially I've noticed a lot of fashion designers that come to me, especially they'll, they'll pick their personal name, for example, or they'll pick a name that's super trendy um, or maybe just, very like um we call it generic but it's basically a name. diamond girl <laughs> <laughs> i'm just throwing something out <laughs> it's just like a name that doesn't actually have really like strong brand identity mm-hmm. and i think that's why it's great that felicia and i can work together now and because i know she helps people with their branding right. their logos like i can tell them from a trademark perspective this is how you build a strong business name under trademark law like mm-hmm. there's a science behind it which we are going to cover in the closed minded summit because we have to we absolutely have to um and even when it comes to business formation um at least for my new york clients i know we're going to atlanta so business formation does differ depending on your state but in new york there's extra requirements that a lot of business owners skip and they don't realize and then because they register their business say within brooklyn um your fees or to do that second requirement that you skipped increases so the whole point of getting an attorney. I don't know if I should still... You keep going. Okay, good. <laughs> we got Jessica Couch on the line. <laughs> keep going, Jessica. Okay. We'll, we'll loop you in in two minutes. Okay. <laughs> so okay. the whole point of um, going ahead and hiring an attorney is because we can help you not make those mistakes. Mm-hmm. We can help you, like, stop you, slow you down, and be like, okay, let's clear this first. Let's do this first. 
let me help you through the process. You don't have to do it all alone. Gotcha. Okay. So I'm going to pose the same question to Felicia, but before Felicia starts, um, we have Jessica Couch who just answered the line. Mm -hmm. Jessica's another one of our partners on the tour. Jessica, um, I'm going to have you answer the same question as Felicia, which is what's the most common mistake that designers make when they first start out? Um, Just uh, Felicia can go first um, on the branding side, and then we'll talk. Um, come in to you, and you can tell us um, your opinion on that. And then before you give your opinion, if you could just give a little background on yourself mm-hmm. and your company, that would be great. All right, Felicia, Fantastic. go ahead. Awesome. So in addition to the legal mistakes, mm-hmm. um, I often see the clients go straight to making samples. Yeah. And I think that <laughs> – and we can go back and forth on this. Some people will go, but – it is really truly the the issue is that they spend a lot of time mm-hmm. and money in product development when yes. they don't even customer. Yes. So we yes. bring it all the way back to the first step, which is understanding who you are selling to. Yes. Then you can make a product for that person. Mm-hmm. So instead of, and it's like great that they have ideas for it, but that's the first thing people show me is let, let me show you my sketch. I have samples. Right. Okay, well, who are we selling this right. to? And once we figure out who that person is, we have to make sure that everything that we're going to make for the person actually matches. So that goes into, for example, sustainability is a great one. People say, I want to be eco-friendly. I want to be sustainable. Is that important to your clientele? Mm -hmm. And if it is, that goes into the price of the product, which makes it higher. So if you overcome Wait, Felicia, you're breaking up a little bit right there. Um, oh, sorry. You may need to repeat that last part. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So sustainability is one of the topics that is a good example because people talk about it all the time, but that actually affects the fabrication that you pick. It affects the packaging that you purchase. Mm-hmm. So if your clientele is not going to pay the extra dollar for those pieces, then your product and your clientele does not match. So it's just, it's really confusing when you don't have the basics of who you're selling to, then you can continue to develop the product that way. So I think that's the biggest mistake to me is just going straight into making samples without truly discovering and answering those questions about who you're selling to. Mm. Yeah. I need to second that. Yeah. I'm just going to second Go that. Too. But I don't, I don't want to take up so much time. Go I ahead. Know others have to, so. Jessica, if you could uh, chime in on that. Absolutely. So hi, everybody. Sorry, I was a little tardy. Um, my background's in technology. So from my perspective, I think that what a lot of people do as a first mistake is not think about the consumer experience overall. Mm -hmm. So I think sometimes you have a really great idea of what you want to design and it's really special to you and it's great. But I see that a lot of people don't consider, well, where is my consumer going to be engaging with these products? Where are they going to find it? Who's their community leaders? You know, how does this look online? Like, are we going to do pop-ups and activations? And then what tech can actually get us closer to the consumer? What I notice that happens when, um, when that occurs is that there's a lot of afterthought. And so somebody may have used the majority of their budget to go towards marketing. They didn't develop their persona as well. And they didn't think about, hey, like instead of just trying to push out ads or something like that, we could have had an event where we not only sold clothes, but met new people because maybe they're not responding to our Instagram ads the same, or maybe we're not in store, we're DTC. So I think that as a um, brand, And as a designer, you absolutely want to think about the experience that your customer has all the way through making a purchase and then after. That way that you can plan ahead and you can allocate your budget accordingly without having to do so later and then you're at a loss. Yeah. Mm. Yep. So uh, just from like being with you guys and talking to you guys and uh, just going through the motions of the last year of people making a lot of mistakes, I have now and will be shifting the LC Apparel business model to application and membership base. Mm-hmm. So to make mm-hmm. sure that they have all of the skills that you guys teach beforehand. Mm-hmm. So I found that um, just, you know, giving product development and doing product development with certain clients, knowing willing that they don't know what the hell they're doing, I'm actually doing them a disservice mm-hmm. and they got to go back to the drawing yeah. board. And they mm-hmm. usually, and to me, I've, I've come to the realization that their success is the success of the business. In all honesty, so I'm just like, I can't do it no yeah, more. So, they have to after I feel like I can preach it all day long, but actually, like, making sure that I'm enforcing it mm-hmm. is where I had to really come and sit down and be like, Yeah, 
no, I can't do yeah. it. Like they have to be able to at least right. pass the application process, you right. know, and then like I'm going to move it into more of an incubator kind of thing. So they also have to work hands on too. So they're going to be sitting right there with me making yeah. that pattern. Yes. They're going to be sitting right there with me when I'm teaching them how to sew. So they don't have to do all of the work by themselves, but mm-hmm. it has to be more of a partnership than them just doing it. And I think that's what's going to really like set it apart and, and yes. like really come to make a whole bunch of successful designers. Successful that is designers needed. will make us all successful. <laughs> that is needed. That is education. Absolutely. Um, So, like, I feel like to wrap up, I feel like what everybody is saying is that everybody's so focused on the creative Mm -hmm. that they bypass or really ignore the business. They ignore a lot of the business decisions that they should be making because they don't know. Right. Honestly, they don't know. And people take their money like that. You can get, yes. you can get samples. Of course, you can, you yes. know, if you go to a regular, like, not even a regular, but just a sample maker or a manufacturer, it is not their job to educate you. you right. Know? So they're not going to tell just selling you, like, oh, yeah, don't do this, don't do that. Mm-hmm. Like, they're just going to do what they're supposed to. Mm-hmm. So I think what is beautiful about, you know, the four of us coming together and, you know, really finding what the issue is. Yeah. You know, why is, yeah. what are the problems that are facing and how can we solve those problems? You know, Absolutely. and our goal, of course, is to take the closed minded summit to multiple cities and bring it everywhere where you can get this level of education from four amazing experts and women entrepreneurs that's actually seen if things go to <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> like seeing it. Like yep. we are uh-huh. a witness. Okay. So right. it's like, like we're coming from a, a place of like the ex like the expertise, but also like We've been through it. You know, mm-hmm. we've seen it. We've mm-hmm. seen our customers fail. We've seen customers do a great job. Like, we've been inside of the world and um, honestly got, like, a lot of, you know, do's and don'ts and, you know, experiences yeah. for ourselves. They'll be like, okay, this is what works. This is what doesn't work, you know, mm-hmm. and it is what it is. So mm-hmm. now we can now take that information and share it. Um, and you won't even get half of this information in a four-year institution. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Not for the price. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, ladies, so tell... Um, if you just want to hit a little bit, I know we kind of said what we were going to be talking about there, but if you could just drop like one gem from each of your segments mm-hmm. of what you'll just be hitting on, not too, too much. Yeah, because you know I, I go overboard. <laughs> we go, not sorry. too much, but just like, just, just <laughs> drop a gem. Yeah, drop a gem. <laughs> drop a gem. Um, I feel like the one of the the coolest gems from my section because I feel like the whole thing is full of gems. Right. <laughs> so one of the coolest things is that we're going to assess your business's legal health. Um, it's like a legal health score. Um, I've created like a quiz that I want everybody in the room to take part in so that you can know and see it for yourself because a lot of it is seeing to believing that, hey, yeah, I need this help. Yeah. I'll like, be taking what, that quiz too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I think um, I if that's a gem. That's a gem. That's going to okay. count for All me. Right. Mm-hmm. Felicia, what's your gem? Well, you're hosting, well, but I, yeah. Hosting, but mm-hmm. I do want to say overall, you know, we will have time to interact with everyone through lunch and we'll have a panel at the end. So we'll all be discussing, yes. you know, our entrepreneurial journeys and also giving feedback um, to everyone in the room. And I will be sharing some more information on like wholesale and what's the difference between, you know, the trade shows and which routes you can go if you want mm-hmm. to do wholesale. Um, but what I'm most excited about for everyone is that this is a really true hands-on experience and you yes. are going to be doing exercises. Like we yeah. are going to have you do things in the room. Um, one of my good friends, Kelly Bowen, is speaking on branding and understanding how to develop your persona and how you figure your presentations of brand and like who your customer is we'll be doing that literally live like through pinterest homework mm-hmm. um so we'll be doing a lot of hands-on stuff so you'll definitely need your you know tablets or ipads um and um computers so we can get hands-on and get really into the topics at hand yes amazing jessica absolutely so for my session one of the things a little tidbit is that Um, Technology is neither expensive nor difficult, and you don't have to have a tech person on your team um, to integrate technology and to compete with some of the bigger brands. In fact, I think that as smaller brands have a better chance at pivoting, um, innovating in a way where they can try new technology and quickly change or like upgrade Mm -hmm. it in a way that bigger brands and retailers cannot, and that will be your complete advantage. So. In my session, you'll be able to learn about what those technologies are, how to implement them, and it doesn't have to cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars or even ten thousand dollars. There's some very oh. more attractive than some of the bigger retailers. So I'm super excited to share that. Gotcha. And the gym for me that I'm going to be dropping in the product development uh, section, well, production kind of section is 
quality. Um, and I think that it you have to train your eye to understand quality. So I'm going to be mm. doing a nice little demo to teach you guys how to read a garment, like the actual product evaluation. And the way we read garments are from the inside of the garment and not the outside. Mm. So I will break down a, a couple of different apparel markets and show you the difference between a garment that is um, fast fashion versus a garment that is contemporary versus a garment that is and you're ready to wear a young designer. And we're going to read those garments from top to bottom so that you understand understand the, le the levels of quality um, so you can understand what apparel market you want to be in as well. Mm. Love that. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to be learning from everybody right? on this panel. Listen. Yeah, I, had, I just came up with that. I was just like, you know, because I feel like I always do the fit one, but it's just like, it's not, it's a, it's a beyond fit. Like it's yeah. beyond, like there is a category for apparel pricing, you know, mm -hmm. and then that matches with your direct experience. So I just wanted to do something that ties in with what everyone is doing. doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that way it really is just like, okay. Now I really know the difference because telling them that this is contemporary versus this being yeah. fast fashion, it's hard for them to imagine it. They got to see it. They got to see, gotta see the, garments the garments from the inside mm. too. Like you can really get, and the fabrication, you know, right, like you'll know right. and you'll be able to tell. So I think that's going to be a nice little intricate point of it. So yes. Yes. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies, did you want to add anything else about the summit? Um, say it again, November 13th. I'll actually have the um, ticket uh, link inside of the show notes and in the bio. Mm -hmm. It's in all of our bios, so we'll definitely throw out all of our Instagrams um, as well. Um, hotel room block. Hotel room block is there. Mm -hmm. Atlanta is a fun too. city that you don't have to be vaccinated to go anywhere. Oh, really? <laughs> you don't? You don't have to have the vaccine. This is oh, this, that's wow. a New York thing. I just Atlanta's I wide open. Oh, Atlanta's it's wild. A New York, I think it's an LA thing too, but uh -huh. you can just come. We don't have to have that. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. They you see, we so there. stuck in New York than in other parts of the world. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I thought it was just like Texas acting up. I didn't know Atlanta no, was no, acting up yeah, too. Okay. No, yeah. All right. We well, haven't, no, you, you don't. It's just that. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have a um, meet and greet Friday. Yes, yes. We have a meet and greet on Friday. And then um, all of us will be taking uh, consultations yes. and stuff like that from um, if anybody wants to work with us one-on-one. -on -one, yeah. We'll have our calendars open and then booking appointments and setting appointments for the rest of the weekend as well if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one or consulting um, on any level. Mm-hmm. Yes. All yeah, right, guys. So if you guys want to just go ahead and throw out your social media handles on how they can contact you and oh, see you, and even if they can't make this summit, they should still follow everyone and still yes. gain knowledge. All of us post very frequently on yes. our social medias mm -hmm. with education, and we do a lot of events outside of just the Close Minded Summit. So even if you can't make this summit and something's coming up, we still, of course, want you guys to follow and learn from us and continue to um, grow your business, and hopefully you will, you'll catch us in your city soon yeah absolutely so if you are looking to get into contact with me uh, my instagram name is j and j legal my website j and j legal services.com i mean everything is on the instagram so you can just contact me that way um email everything good to go <laughs> and i'm at the assembly line co on instagram and our website is the assembly line co.com okay and I am at underscore Jessica Veronica underscore. Um, you'll be able to find everything about Luxor and Finch there too and my other brands. So follow me. Good. Do you guys have any uh, announcements or any events or anything like that that you want to share as well? Mm. I just dropped an announcement actually on earlier, the, okay. the new service. I haven't. Like, oh, go ahead, girl. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Oh, well, oh about you don't have to talk. You don't have to no, talk about girl, that now. No, no, no. But, drop it. Um, we here. Drop, drop it. it. <laughs> <laughs> drop it. What's I was going, going to be on? working on a new service. I think in like November, December is probably when I'll launch. Um, just in time for New Year's Eve because I think everybody's going to be working on starting a business or mm -hmm. finding that new stream of income as they always Top do. Top of the year. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's going to be a rebranding service. Um. See, I keep saying surface. I feel like I'm like stumbling, <laughs> but okay. service. She had a long day. Um, yeah, exactly. I haven't eaten anything. Right. Okay. So it is a rebranding service because I feel that a lot of times fashion designers, especially, I do work with a bunch of different entrepreneurs in different industry, but fashion designers especially seem to have a hard time picking a business name. Um, so that rebranding service is kind of like a consultation where you'll get to work with myself. I'm thinking of maybe pulling in Felicia on this. I haven't even contacted her about this. <laughs> <laughs> so this is her first time you hearing see how you too. Loop people in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> but um, I want to have like a creative strategy session with fashion designers, especially to make sure that before they buy um, a logo, a domain, their samples, their products, the business cards, anything that they're going to do, that their name has a good chance of being their own because brand ownership is key. We need to make sure that you own your brand in the long run. When you own your brand, you become more attractive to investors. You become um, an actual household name. That's why I think this new service is needed and it's going to come right in time for the new year. Perfect. That's what I'm working on. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Felicia, you, you got any announcements or events or anything coming nope, up? Nope, just the summit. I'm super excited to have everyone come to Atlanta. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Jess? Nope, I'm happy to see everybody. Can't wait. Okay. <laughs> the like, no. no. Okay. Well, <laughs> you have an NYC Garment District tour next Friday, first Friday of every month. I have the Black Ass Friday pop up coming on Black Friday, and of course, this most exciting thing is us all being in Atlanta together, dressed real pretty. I feel like you guys should come to show out too. I'm gonna Ooh, dress up. Yeah, we're dressing up. <laughs> Yes. I'm giving you business owner. I'm giving you boss woman. Yes, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Right. You always do that, though. You always show out. Yeah, I see. That's you. the goal. Mm -hmm. All right. So make sure you follow us all, guys. Um, and we will see you in Atlanta. Uh, be on the lookout. We might throw some surprises your way the week of. So just make sure you uh, check out those Instagram pages and have your post notifications on. Yay. And as I always say, Thank guys, you, ladies. stay black. Peace out. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Bye ladies. <laughs>